a cloak of compassion amidst winter's chill. In the heart of a grey, winter atmosphere, juiced cornerless Druch Sloot's masterpiece, Saint Martin cutting off part of his cloak for a beggar, 1623, captures a poignant moment of charity and compassion. The painting is an exquisite representation of Saint Martin, the Christian nobleman, depicted in a suit of armor, a unique portrayal exclusive to this version housed in the Rijks Museum. The composition is quintessentially Druch Sloot, the partially seen building cast in shadow on the left serves as an effective repoussoir, drawing viewers into the central scene where Saint Martin extends his kindness to a beggar. The twisted and bizarrely leafless trees are another hallmark of Druch Sloot's work, echoing landscape etchings by renowned artists Willem Beitwerk and Jan van der Velde too. The painting is imbued with contrasts, not just in light and shadow but also in human behavior. To the right, orderly peasants observe Saint Martin's act of charity, to the left, brawling peasants depict coarser aspects of humanity. This duality reflects Druch Sloot's affinity for village scenes populated with Brugalian peasants and acts of charity. David Vinkboons's influence is palpable, each peasant appears cast from the same mold, repetitive yet expressive figure types that are as characteristic as Druch Sloot's leafless trees. The grey atmosphere and barren trees evoke a winter setting, aligning with St. Martin's feast day marking winter's onset. While Spicer's hypothesis linking this painting to Peter Jules' 1661 estate inventory remains unsubstantiated due to lack of descriptive detail and dimensions, its thematic consistency across three works by Druch Sloot underscores its significance. This piece stands as a testament not only to Druch Sloot's artistic prowess but also illuminates an enduring narrative, one where amidst life's tumultuous brawls and serene orderliness, acts of compassion shine luminously against winter's grey backdrop.